Hello. In this video I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called Solving an Absolute Value Equation, Problem Type 1. We're asked to solve this equation for x, and to do so we're going to want to isolate the x on one side of the equation. And our first step in that process is going to be to get the absolute value of x by itself. And to undo multiplying by 2, we would divide both sides by 2. Doing so cancels the 2's on the left hand side, giving us the absolute value of x equals 8. And our last step here is going to be to get rid of the absolute value so that we have a solution for x. And keeping in mind what the absolute value does, it makes the value inside of it positive. Before moving on, we should consider what the absolute value is equal to. In this case, it's a positive 8. The absolute value will always be positive. If we had gotten to a step here where we had the absolute value of x, say, equaled a negative 8, we could stop and say no solution because an absolute value couldn't be negative. But since we have the absolute value equals a positive 8, we can move ahead by dropping the absolute value so that we just have the x and on the other side of the equation we would have both a positive and a negative 8. So we ended up with two solutions either x equals 8 or x equals negative 8. And just to explain why we have two solutions, looking back at the previous step the absolute value of x equals 8 would be true in two situations. If we had the absolute value of 8 equals 8, that would be true because the absolute value makes what's inside positive, and so making an 8 positive would be a positive 8. However, it's also true if we had a negative 8 inside of the absolute value. The absolute value of negative 8 is 8, so we have two solutions. The x could be 8 or the x could be negative 8. 